playing our song, senorita. So I must assume we are here for the same reason? A break-in. The De La Vega offices. But how did you... Silent alarm. You must have exceptional hearing. And you, senorita, how did you know? Me? I'm just exceptional. The eagle feather. It's gone. And just how would you know that's what's missing? I also have exceptional eyesight. The golden eagle feather. According to this inscription, it was a gift from the Shoshones to celebrate the start of the Pueblo Grande, which means it's been in the De La Vega family for many generations. Which means... <laughs> You should give it back. Careful, senors, please! It would be a crime to destroy such a historic treasure. No! Feather. Seems to mean an awful lot to you. To me? No. To Pueblo Grande? Yes. I don't know. You seem unusually upset. Call me a traditionalist. Funny. I've never heard your tornado whinny. I'll take that. Careful! Relax, Z man. I've got it. Now why don't you go get them? Fast, senors. Bad idea, amiga. Good call, amigo. Impressive. But at least they didn't get this. Why do you have an eagle feather and a glass ball, grandfather? It's not glass, Diego. It's crystal. And that's no ordinary eagle feather. It's made of solid gold. It must be worth a lot of money. Uh, far more than money. It's a good luck charm. As long as we have it, the De La Vega family will always be lucky. What if something happens to it? Ah, uh, in that case, you will have to make your own luck. Hey, Dad. I just heard about the break-in last night. We were really lucky they didn't get the Golden Eagle Feather. You'd better beef up security in case they try again. It's insured. That's not the point. It was a gift from the Shoshone. It... Don't start with that superstitious nonsense about it being a good luck charm. That was just another of your grandfather's childish fantasies. Like the Legend of Sorrow? Exactly. It's time you grew up, Diego. Believe in yourself, not in good luck charms. Like I've been telling you, bro, these guys were good. I mean, I'm good. So you know I know good when I see good. These weren't just the usual klutz of goons the mayor uses. So where did they come from? Who are they? How do I find them? Come on, man, stop clowning. I'm trying to figure out who... The circus is in town? Of course, circus performers. So 
circus of clowns. You must be in heaven. Hello, Bernardo. I never figured you for the circus type, Diego. No, I'm not, but Bernardo loves clowns. Which explains why he hangs out with you. Bye now. Why don't you go yuck it up with your clowns? I'm, or rather Zorro, is off to do a little snooping. We had a deal, Don Payaso. And we still do, Mr. Mayor. After all, your golden feather isn't going to fly away now, is it? Last night, my boys just had a little unexpected interference. Zorro and the Scarlet Whip, of course. Those two always interfere with my plans. Then perhaps it's time to bring the curtain down on their act. In the meantime, enjoy yourself. Take in a show under the big top. I want that golden feather. It's worth a fortune, and I've already got a buyer lined up. You'll have it tonight. Father, I should have known. Excuse me, it appears I have a hungry tiger to feed. And I know he just saved my daughter. But I still want to be rid of him. Then tonight, he will give his final performance. <laughs> Gotta tell you, bro, you were pretty awesome today facing down that tiger. Crazy, but cool. Meanwhile, Maria thinks that Diego was off hiding in fear, and I wonder who put that idea into her head, hmm, amigo? Don't worry, I forgive you, but only because you're such a good snoop. Tell me, how did you get close enough to learn about tonight's planned robbery? You pretended to be a clown. I should have guessed. Well, if my dad won't amp up security, then we have to make sure my good luck charm isn't where those clowns can get to it. He may think it's just a crazy superstition, but I don't want to take any chances. Ah, oh, surprise, look who's here. You're late, senorita. I don't suppose it would do any good to ask how you knew I'd even be here? And I don't suppose it would do any good to ask how you knew to be here. Of course not. But do tell why you appear to have stolen the golden feather. Ah, well, since we can both obviously assume those clowns will return, I thought it best to move this to someplace safe. I could do that for you. Oh, a little protective, are we? Me? No. Why should I be? I see. Don't trust me yet. I trust you. It's just that... you wouldn't understand. Try me. Your clown alert. <sighs> I shall be the decoy. You take care of this. Gotcha. So much for being a decoy. You see, a hand 
over the Golden Feather, and already my luck's turned bad. Oh, pies? Give me a... Precious feather. Under different circumstances, I might find that amusing. Personally, I much prefer watching the thumb. Vamos, senorita! Hang on tight! The bad luck begins. Ugh. What was that? I, I said uh, that was very bad luck, no? Well, we both survived. Plus, we know where those clowns are headed. And your bike's not damaged. I'd say that's good luck. Why you suddenly think you're having a streak of bad luck? We got here, didn't we? See, si, or perhaps you've forgotten that I nearly wrecked the Tornado Z a second time. How are you supposed to know that black cat would jump out in front of your bike? Just the same, it may be safer for you if we split up. You're serious? You think you're suddenly jinxed or something? There's no time to explain. You search in that direction, I'll go this way. I'm telling you, it's no accident that I lose the Golden Feather and suddenly bad luck is all around me. Right, I'm making too much of this. It's just unfortunate coincidences, not bad luck. It's bad luck. Like our luck's changed. Ah, uh, yeah. From bad to worse. Ladies and gentlemen, observe the great El Zorro and the Scarlet Whip, live and in person, appearing for the first and last time under the big top. We thought you'd never get here. A trap. It seems there are some who want to be rid of you as much as they want this hunk of gold. Take care with that, senor. It holds far more than simple gold. Now, you may tell the less than honorable mayor that he would be wise to set his sights on some other prize. I never mentioned the mayor. And I know my clowns didn't talk, since they are mere minds. <gasps> Zorro!
a spirited performance. Incoming! <laughs> Magnificent! Senorita. Now where's the fun in that? Let's make this real exciting, shall we? Trust me? With my life! If you please, I'll take that. Like you were right about the bad luck. The golden feathers shattered and the clowns got away. Actually, I was wrong. After all, I still have a friend that I can trust. And who trusts me. I would say that makes us both very lucky indeed. We just heard about the golden feather. I'm sorry, Dad. Don't be. All oh, right. I forgot. It's insured. Yes, but we won't be collecting because we still have the real Golden Eagle Feather. I had a copy made years ago, just in case. So all this time you were just pretending it wasn't that important to you? Of course it is. It's a historical treasure. Come on, Dad. Admit it. You believe in its good luck too, don't you? <sighs> anyway, sorry I didn't tell you sooner. But there are times when things are best kept secret. I understand. Boy, do I understand.
Hmm, from Don Payaso. Ah, the golden feather. Huh, what's this? 